Hello, this is day 224 of Bible in one year and our Bible text Psalms chapter 84 to 86 and then Romans chapter 12. So let's start with a prayer. Lord, we thank you for another day that you've given us. Thank you, Lord, for the blessings. Thank you, Lord, for your health, safety, protection, and of course, the wisdom. Pray, Lord, that you continue to guide us every day of our lives. Lord, we thank you for um, being with us, helping us through the trials, tribulations, problems. Thank you, Lord, for uh, being with us, being with us, and keeping us safe. And Lord, pray that you would enlighten us as we read your word for today. And also, please forgive us for our sins, our mistakes, and our shortcomings. Help us to overcome them, Lord. And I pray for everyone who are doing their part in the ministry, especially pastors, the church workers, the missionaries, and everyone who are who have a part in the ministry. And Lord. I'd like to pray for the salvation of our families, the lost loved ones, and everyone we're trying to reach through the various ministries. And I pray also that you would bless everyone and give them safe, bless them, Lord, and provide for their needs. Thank you, Lord, is to bring Jesus' name. Amen. Alright, so let's start with Psalms chapter 84. How amiable are thy tabernacles, O Lord of hosts! My soul long longeth, yea, even fainted for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh crieth out for the living God. Yea, the sparrow had found an house, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young, even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house, they will be still, praising thee. Sell. Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, in whose heart are the ways of them, who, passing through the valley of Baca, make it a well, the rain also filleth the pools. They go from strength to strength, every one of them in Zion, and fear it before God. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob, Selah. Behold, O God, our shield, and look upon the face of thine anointed. For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of, the, of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man that trusteth in thee. Psalms chapter 85 Lord, Thou hast been favorable unto thy land, thou hast brought back up, hast brought back the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the iniquity of thy people, thou hast covered all their sin, Salah. Thou hast taken away all thy wrath, thou hast turned thyself from the fierceness, fierceness of thine anger. Turn us, O God, of our salvation, and cause thine anger toward us to cease. Will thou be angry with us forever? Will thou draw out thine anger? To all generations, will thou not revive us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee? Show us thy mercy, O Lord, and grant us thy salvation. I will hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace unto his people and to his saints. But let them not turn again to folly. Surely his salvation is nigh to them that fear him, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. Yea, the Lord shall give that which is good, and our land shall yield her increase. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall set us in the way of his steps. Psalms chapter 86 Bow down thine ear, O Lord, hear me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. O thou my God, save thy servant that trusteth in thee. Be merciful unto me, O Lord, for I cry unto thee daily. Rejoice the soul of thy servant. For unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. For thou, Lord, art God, and ready to forgive, and plenteous in mercy, and to all them that call upon thee. Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer, and attend to the voice of my supplications. In the day of my trouble I will call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me. Among the gods there is none like unto thee, O Lord, neither are there any works like unto thy works. All nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. 
For thou art great, and doest wondrous things, thou art God alone. Teach me thy way, O Lord, I will walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to, to fear thy name. I will praise thee, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forevermore. For great is thy mercy toward me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell. O God, the proud are risen against me, and the assemblies of violent men have sought after my soul, and have not set thee before them. But thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering, and plenteous in mercy and truth. O turn unto me, and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant, and save the son of thy handmaid. Show me a token for good, that they which hate me may see it and be ashamed, because thou, Lord, hast hope in me and comforted me. All right, and I go to Romans chapter 12. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say, through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God had sealed, so every man the measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, so we, being many, are one body in Christ, and every one members, and every one members of one another, one of another. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. Our ministry, let us wait on our ministering, or he that teacheth on teaching, or he that exhorteth on exhortation, he that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence, he that showeth mercy with cheerfulness, let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affectioned one to another with brotherly love, in honor preferring one another. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing in instant in prayer. Distributing to the necessity of saints, given to hospitality, bless them which persecute you, bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice, and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceits. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him, if he thirst, give him drink, for in so doing thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Right, we're done with the Bible reading for the reflection, something to share. So I think, you know, again, the last parts of Romans. Uh, there's a great deal to be learned in Romans chapter 12. So essentially, you know, the this world has its own rules, um, in a way. Um, we can see them in, you know, the news, the articles, in the TV shows, things like that. But uh, of course, God ha sometimes have a different different teaching or you know different rules compared to the world. Of course, in you know in movies or in shows, we see people. Uh, getting their revenge whenever they have enemies doing them uh you know bad things but in the bible of course god teaches us to uh to love our enemies not exactly love in you know the context of loving our friends or our family but in a way uh do not do evil for the evil that was given to you in a way you have to you know uh Uh, the last verse, be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. So in a way, if you do good to someone who's doing bad things to you, in a way, it could, you know, reproach them or it could, 
make them repent in a way they'd be like why is this person being nice and all whenever even if i've already done such bad things to him so i could you know i could make them question their own actions so could be good instead of you know someone does a bad thing to you and then you avenge yourself you do evil to him as well and it's got it's not going to end unless one of you relent and of course as a christian you should be the one to be you know the so-called bigger person and do the right thing right uh verse 14 bless them which persecute you bless them bless and curse curse not okay so yeah, it's the same uh principle really if someone does did something bad against you, uh, you know, do not repay them with evil, but show them kindness, be understanding. Not really understanding in such a way that you would tolerate what they did, but correct them and then uh, do not do, again, do not do evil for evil, but you know, I tell them why what they did is wrong, uh, but do it in a good way, in a pleasant way, alright? That can be done, okay? Um, what else? Verse 11, not slothful in business. Like some people are really, you know, slow. Oh, what do you call it? They prefer to do things later. You know, they keep saying later. But again, uh, we'd rather not. Let's be on time. If something can be done today, you can do it now. But of course, if it should be done later, then do it later, right? So those are just some of the things that I, you know, I kind of, uh, things that came to mind while reading uh, the text for today. Alright? So that's it for this one. Again, this is Day 224, Bible in One Year, and we've read Psalms chapters 84 to 86, and then Romans chapter 12. Thank you, and God bless.